Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So obviously this is the makeup and hair look for today's tutorial. If you guys want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. So happy with how it turned out, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And yeah, let's get into it. So first to prep my skin, I'm going to use the Forsali Unicorn Essence and just apply a few drops all over my face and rub it in with my fingers as per usual. And secondly, to add a bit of glow to the face, I'm going to use the MAC Strobe Cream in Gold Light. Again, I apply it with my fingers and I apply it all over my face. And then the final primary use is the Benefit Pore Professional and I just use this in areas that I have open pores. So this kind of area on my cheeks. I do not have open pores on my forehead or my chin, but I always apply there anyway. Then for full coverage, I'm using the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation and I mix the Farsali drops in with it so it blends a lot easier because it's a really matte finish foundation so it can be hard to blend. However, because it's matte, it does last forever on the skin. Then moving on to concealer, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium Honey and I apply it in all the regular areas that I always do. And I also kind of use it to cream contour the face, that's why I apply it in the center of my face and kind of underneath my lips and my cheekbones. Then I'm using a damp Morphe beauty sponge and just blending all of that into my skin and I feel like this really pushes the product into the skin and helps um, make it more seamless and also kind of last longer throughout the day. Then finally, after all of that blending, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I use the damp sponge to apply this underneath my eyes. So this is kind of like baking. I don't put that much on, but I do like to use the sponge to kind of push it into the areas in the center of my face. I feel like this definitely helps control oil throughout the day and keeps my face looking kind of matte and under control. Then I just use a Zoeva large fluffy brush to apply the same powder all over the rest of my face. Then moving on, I'm going to use the Be Bold Contour and Highlight Kit and to start off, I'm going to use the bronzer colour with another Zoeva brush and apply this in the areas that I always do, so kind of around my temple areas, the perimeters of my face, underneath my cheekbones, underneath my jawbone, etc. So this will also kind of contour, but you can also use the actual contour colour in those areas if you want a more intense contoured look. Moving on to blush, I'm going to use the Anastasia Blush Kit and I actually just picked up all the colours from this kit and using another Zoeva brush I just applied on the apples of my cheeks and then whatever's left over I applied kind of on my nose and on my forehead area. Then moving back to the Be Bold Contour Kit I'm going to pick up the highlighter shade and use my Anastasia brush to apply it. I always apply it on the top of my cheekbones, on top of my eyebrow in a kind of C area at the side of your face and down the bridge of my nose. Then moving on to brows, I always, always brush through them first and I'm going to use my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in the shade Soft Brown. I pick up the lighter shade first with an Inglot 13P brush. This is more of a rounded brush and I use this for the beginning of my brows with the lighter colour like I said. And then I use the darker colour with an angled brush from Anastasia and apply it through the mid lengths and ends of my brows. Then to keep the brow hairs in place, I'm going to use the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. This is one of my favourites. It's so good. And I kind of brush my hairs up when I apply this, just because I prefer the shape that it gives. And then after this dries in, I go in with the Anastasia Brow Wiz. <coughs> I need to cough. In the shade Soft Brown, and I just kind of fill in any stubborn gaps that wouldn't fill with the powder. Then finally moving on to eyes, I'm going to use the Anastasia Contour Kit and I'm using a MAC 224 brush with this colour first and applying this into the crease of my eye. So this is going to act as like a transition and help kind of blend out the darker colours too. So just keep on blending and adding the colour bit by bit until you're kind of happy with how it looks and don't forget to do the other eye obviously. Then taking a slightly smaller fluffy brush, I'm taking lighter colours for underneath my eyes and just blending this out really softly. Don't bring it down too far because it'll make your eyes look a bit too smoky. Unless you like that look, then go for it. 
but then I'm taking the same brush with the darkest color from the contour kit and applying this directly into the crease of my eyes. Again, bit by bit, just build it up until you're happy with the depth. Then before we move on to the lid colour, I'm going to apply the Rimmel Translucent Powder under my eyes to catch any fallout. The reason why I'm using this is because it's cheaper and I'm not wasting my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. <laughs> so I'm using the Dose of Colours Katie Desi collection and I'm taking the kind of gunmetal colour from that palette and applying this all over my lids and kind of blending it really softly into the crease but not further than the crease. And I'm using the flat side of the Anastasia brush to apply this, so any flat eyeshadow brush will do. Then I'm also going to use the Inglot AMC pigment in the number 120 and apply this just mostly in the center of my eyelid and then kind of like blend it out. This just kind of adds an extra pop of color and makes the lid a bit more intense and I love how it turned out. And then obviously when you're finished with the eye makeup, you can dust away the translucent powder underneath your eyes. And after that I applied the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Eye Pencil in the shade Bedroom Black and I applied this on my upper and lower waterline so basically I tight lined my eye. Never usually wear black but I love how this turned out and this one is really pigmented and so creamy. And when I applied it I made sure to go right to the inner and outer corners of my waterline. After that I took a small eyeshadow brush similar to the Inglot 13P and just smudged the same eyeshadow underneath my eyes to kind of blend out that black eye pencil and it should look something like this. And then I went in with mascara, this is my current favourite drugstore one, it's from Rimmel and it's amazing. Then after my mascara, I apply some eyelashes and the ones I use are the Sosu Katie lashes. These are my favorite from her range. I love them and they're nice and long and wispy. At this stage, I realized I didn't have any inner corner highlights. So I used this one from the Huda Beauty palette. It's like a soft kind of pinky champagne color. And I just used a pencil brush to apply to the inner corners of my eyes. Moving on to lips, I'm gonna use the Anastasia liquid lipstick in the shade Stripped. This is a current favorite. And the lip liner I use is the MAC O oh Honey lip liner, which is also a favourite. And then this is the finished makeup look. I was actually so happy with how this turned out. I feel like although it's dramatic, it's still wearable. Um, at this stage I realized I didn't apply setting spray so the one I'm going to use is the Glam Glow Glow Setter Setting Spray. This one's really nice because it gives a nice glow and kind of dewy effect to the skin. So moving on to hair, I'm just going to brush through it first and I already have my extensions clipped in and they're the Foxy Locks Deluxe Seamless Clip-Ins in the shade Latte Blonde. I always say this, I've used them for years, they're hands down my favourite hair extensions I've ever used. The quality is just amazing and the seamless clips are so comfortable on the head and they never show either. So I will leave a link to their website and all the information in the description box to make sure you check that out. But firstly, I just took my GHD hair styler to kind of straighten the front bits of my hair because they usually kind of get a little bit frizzy and curly. And I'm actually using my GHD to curl my hair. A lot of people find this difficult to do. I find it really easy. You just have to keep practicing it. So I included every strand that I curled so you guys can kind of see it over and over how I actually curl my hair with this. And at the front bits, I curled the full length of the hair, but as I move towards the back of my hair, I literally only curl the ends. And you'll see what I mean as we get to the back of the hair. But it's really simple. Basically just wait till the GHD is fully heated up. It only takes a few seconds and literally just wrap your hair around it and pull down. I don't wrap the full strand of hair around the barrel, I kind of pull down throughout the hair. And that's the technique I use and I find works best for me. But really, you just need to keep on practicing it because that's the only way you're gonna learn. Also, I find that I don't need to use hairspray. The extensions usually hold the style in them for a few days anyway, so I can kind of get away with no hairspray and that way my hair doesn't feel kind of crunchy. And also the less products that you use in your clip and extensions the better because otherwise you're going to have to keep on washing them and the more you wash them obviously the more hairs that will kind of come out. So the less product in them the better although the Foxy Locks extensions do last so long the quality like I said is just amazing. So I'm basically just repeating the same technique on the opposite side of my head. I always curl the hair away from my face but you can curl it towards your face, whatever you feel kind of suits you better. If you want a messier look, then you can change each direction of each curl. And that way you get more of like a beachy kind of messy vibe with your hair instead of more of a glamorous groomed look. 
I also accidentally just tucked my hair behind my ear as I was curling this side because it kind of was getting in the way and it actually just made the hairstyle. That's how I came up with it. So you can see I just did it there and that's literally how I came up with the hairstyle. I'm not really that great when it comes to hair. I like to keep it simple, but yeah. This is the final look and I was really happy with it. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Leave comments of any looks you want me to film or video ideas and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.